What? Are you actually kidding me? Hello. Hello. Okay, so today we are at the coast and we're on the search for gemstones, sea glass, wow, and whatever everything. else we can find. <laughs> And I think you're going to really enjoy this video. Yeah, I think you are. It's the most beautiful evening right now. Look at the sunshine on our faces. It's getting <laughs> late, but we're going to find some great treasures. So let's, let's do, do it. it. These are my first finds. There's a piece of stoneware pottery, a nice piece of carnelian, a nice little piece of red jasper and two lovely pieces of sea glass. And that's just after stepping onto the beach. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, so we just got down here and my first find is one of my favorite pieces of pottery. And it's a piece of spongeware, sea-worn spongeware. Oh wow, look at that. I'll zoom in a little bit. It's a brown kind of sponged pattern. And this type of pottery was mostly made in Scotland. And it was made from the root of a sea sponge. So a sponge found out there. And they'd cut out a pattern in the sponge, uh, dip it in the underglaze and print it onto the raw pottery, onto the bisque pottery, unfired pottery. And yeah, it would make these patterns and then they'd glaze it and fire it again. And that's a beautiful little example and perfect size, you know what I'm going to say, to be used in a piece of jewellery. <laughs> Great first find. And I've also spot some agates down here, so I'll show you those. Look at this. I like that. And look, just sitting down here, I found two more things. So I found, I think you might be able to see it, look. A bit of, whoop, a bit of clay pipe stem and beautifully worn, ready-made bead right there, look. <laughs> it keeps rolling away. And up here I found something else I've lost. Oh no, wait there. Can you see it? Oh, a bit of pottery. Another bit of pottery is really pretty actually. It's got this kind of like green glaze on it. Not sure what kind of pottery that is, but it's beautiful. There, you can see that beautiful green piece a little bit better now at this angle. So down here in this little area, I think I found uh, two bits of agate. I'm not sure if they're both agate, but let's have a look. That one down there is what I've got my eye on. Look, can I see the color of it? Oh wait, I can see it already. Oh my goodness, what? Look at those crazy bands. I know I say it all the time, look at those bands. <laughs> but oh wow, look at those ones there, look. Look at that, that is crazy. It's all zigzaggy. Wow, that is a really, that is a brilliant piece. I'm having a great time already. <laughs> oh, what's that, is that anything? No. And my other piece I found over here. So I originally saw this piece here, but I don't think it is much it's just like a bit of jasper but look at that there oh my goodness <laughs> I don't need to leave this one spot this is amazing there's like little eyes on it look and there look oh it's like all bubbly and there's kind of like a half one wow Oh, look, 
you see that? It's like a little face. Look, there's like an eye there, an eye there, and like a little white nose. Oh, how amazing is this? And that bit is just, I just love that. That is so funky. Okay, let's see, is there anything else here before I stand up? Do I need to, what's that? Oh, it's a bit of chat. Anything else? Oh, actually, look at that bit. It's little, but there's little bands in there, look. That's pretty. Look at this. Oh, that's a pretty pebble. Look at that. I love that. That's beautiful. Quartz. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's like a piece of Carnelian. Oh, it's, it's agate, I think. Look. Could even be amethyst in the centre of that. Oh, that's interesting. And it's stuck in this other rock. Looks like funny crossed eyes. <laughs> it's a lovely bit of like Pea, not pea green, it's some like seaweed green. Seaweed green sea glass. I love that colour. It's like olive green. Hey look! It's oh. a septarian nod a uh, septarian rock. Alex has found a septarian nodule Whoa. or a lightning stone as they're called. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Isn't that amazing? It is. Wow. A lightning stone. You can see why it's called lightning stone in America. But they are known as septarian nodules. Yeah, that's a technical name for them. But that is amazing. Isn't that a great find? Wow. So pretty. A girl and her septarian nodule. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Hold it in front of the camera. Fantastic. What's this? Is this something interesting? Oh, that's nice. Beautiful chalcedony. It's not a very sunny day, so it's difficult to get the sun shining through, but you can see that glowing even in this dull light. And look at the texture. It's got this lovely waxy texture on the outside. And the different colours, like yellows and oranges, reds. I love it. That would look amazing polished up. So I spot something down here. There. It's a hagstone. And it looks like a little like a cherty hagstone. Ooh. Yeah, look, it's kind of like translucent-ish. It's not very bright today, so you can't really see through it, see the light passing through it very well. So you'll just have to believe me. <laughs> a cherty hagstone, that is cool. That is good size for a pendant as well, if you want to put it on a bit of cord. And um, I actually found another bit of, I think it's like just a bit of chalcedony. I have some faint bands in there, but nice little chunk of chalcedony look. Sea glass. I love that colour as well. I love all the colours of sea glass. Oh, there's another bit down here, look. Little thin piece. We found some most amazing blue colours on this beach before. Like the brightest blue that I've ever seen was a piece of sea glass from this beach, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh, there's another bit. A bit of deeper green. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Absolutely love that colour. Sea glass. Oh, it's so smooth and 
so beautifully worn on this beach. And there is a piece of red jasper. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. The deep color. The lighter streaks through it. Fantastic. Another bit here. Oh my. What? Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Are you actually looking at that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That is insane! Look, if it had been that way up, probably wouldn't have even picked it up or noticed it. But look! Oh, that is awesome. I'll have to show Alex. Something here, look. Oh, that has kind of banding on it, actually, around the top. It's like half carnelian and half quartz as well. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. I heard Mum. I think she's found something. What? What is it? Look at this. Oh my goodness, what? There's a banding in that. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. That is the best piece of today so far. That is amazing. Let's have a look. Zoom in. Oh my goodness, it's not coming up very clearly. Wow, look at that. Look at those bands. Isn't this just amazing? I was just saying, like, I'm I finding, know, like, so much down here. It's amazing. I can't believe it, really. It's crazy. It's <laughs> Let's get some more. It's just a bit of flint, which is a kind of chert. They're all related. Chert, flint, chalcedony, agates. They're all in the same family. That's very black. We'll see glass. Right, it's, I just was literally just speaking to mum and I found another piece down here. Look at that, can you see it? I think you can see it. I don't think that's a difficult one to spot. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, it's like a little nodule. And it's got like a chip. So you can see some of the banding in the middle. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's cool. It's a little sandwich. It's a little like carnelian sandwich. It's got carnelian on the bottom, carnelian on the top. And quartz in the middle. Ah. <laughs> I love that. Was well, something else, I almost missed this, but look. A beautiful piece of green sea glass. Look how perfect that is. Perfectly beautifully worn. And a lovely colour as well. There's mum all the way in the distance over there. Left me behind. I'm getting a bit carried away in this one spot.
but I might leave that for someone else. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's interesting as well. Look at that. It's got that waxy outer coating. Oh, it's so juicy. What's this? Oh, sorry, I'm not even holding it in front of the camera. This piece of carnelian down here is so luminous. I think you could probably see it from space. Or maybe it's a bit of an exaggeration, but look at it. Look how bright it is. It's just so perfect and pure. Look at that. It honestly is just like, I don't know how well you can see it. It's just, so luminous it's just oh it's amazing i love it this is why we need a tumbler but even better some lapidary equipment because this would make an amazing stone for jewelry or something i love that it's just beautiful more of this please I think this is just another bit of chair but it's quite like pleasing it's like a little bit of jelly and I keep spotting I've got a handful of them already but these teensy tiny pieces with loads of detail in them look it's like a piece of honey honey agate I think this is green and red jasper. Oh wow. I really like that. And here is a tiny bit of carnelian. And I can see another bit here. And these tiny bits are so clear and orange and juicy and bright. They're amazing and they'd be fantastic set into jewellery just as they are. There's a lovely bit of clear calcedony. Look at that matte kind of matte texture. So pretty. I'm finding nothing but agates right now. I need to look for some sea glass. <laughs> Look here, it's a bit of agate look. I think this, this brick says Nidri. It's a massive brick, the size of it. I'd like to take it, but it looks so heavy. I don't think I could carry it, not far anyway. Another bright bit of carnelian. And look, so I've been collecting for a little while and I've picked up a small handful of tiny bits. And you can see there's some like banding in there and some chalcedony, different kinds of rocks, different kinds of chert. All beautiful though. I love the sound they make. Can you hear that? I love that. I thought I filmed this. I just picked this up. Tiny little piece of band in. But in the picture right now, 
Oh, no. There is three pieces that I can see. Tiny pieces. Can you spot them? Can you see? Some of them are quite bright. Some are a bit harder to see. But first one here. Beautiful piece of carnelian. And this really bright piece here as well. Look at those. Not sure how well they're showing up. It's quite gloomy today actually. And the other one, which actually I've lost, so where is it? Oh, no way, it was out of frame. <laughs> there. It's a tiny little nugget of it's kind of like opalescent chalcedony. Don't know how well you can see it. Put it back down, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of almost opalescent in tone. It's really pretty. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, another mini septarian lightning stone. If I sit in one spot, I just keep seeing things so I, I don't move anywhere. <laughs> oh, wait, look. Oh, my bag. Oh, wonderful, look, it's a bit of agate. It's a larger bit and it's, it's got bands on it as well. You can see it, but there, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, sorry again about my nasty looking fingers. Bit of sea glass but it's a bit fresh so I'll leave that to fester a bit longer. This looks interesting. Hmm what's that? I've no idea. Some sort of cherty flinty cherty sort of stuff. All right, just look how bright this is. Look how bright it is. That is so orange. I want to eat it. <laughs> I just love this uh, carnelian. It's fantastic. Amber sea glass. It's also a bit, a bit fresh. Leave it to cook. Oh, there's a big bit down here. That's not fresh, that's cooked. Mmm. Just done how I like it. Sat down here because I saw a little bit of agate. Look, it's kind of pinkish actually. Yeah, look, it's kind of like a brownie in the middle and then pinkish red on the outside but this is what I like the look of look can you see it and we showed you before that septarian nodule well this is a mini one 
Look at that. It's a teensy piece. That is so cute. I love those veins. Or lightning stones, I think they call them in America. Like mum said. Here's a little collection of some really fascinating rocks. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that crazy agate. And jaspers, quartz. Some things I'm not sure, actually, but are really pretty. There's another nice bit of chalcedony. It's like a chunk of wax. Beautiful texture. There's a brick down here, but um, there's no name on it because this will be an 18th century brick, which is gorgeous. It's got a stone embedded in it. How fantastic. I might take that one. Another tiny chip of carnelian. Look how clear and orange it is. I know I keep saying it, but it's insane. Marble alerts. Oh my goodness, look, it's a sea cod marble. How beautiful is that? It's like a moon. I love it. Oops, too close. There's a crater. Fantastic, frosty goodness. Look at this. <gasps> Jemmy goodness. Just polishing it on my knee. Because that isn't even wet. That's not wet. That's just the surface of it. It's bone dry. That is amazing. Oh. Wow, look at that. It's got quartz in the middle. And it's got some banding coming out. That's lovely. And another juicy piece. Oh, sweet. There's a teeny bit of sea pottery. How sweet. We'd make a ring. Now there's a bit down here that looks quite interesting. That is quartz, but the outer layer is chert. It's chalcedony. Look. It's transparent. It's really hard to see because it's not very sunny, but that is very glassy. I like it. A part of a nodule. Ooh, that's a nice piece. Look at the colour of that. Ooh, minty. That's pretty blue. Blue green. Teal. What's this teeny one here? Oh, wow, look at that. <gasps> That is beautiful. It's tiny, but perfect. Oh, I love that. Oh, look how that glows. That's beautiful. The green sea glass and the orange stones. Perfect combination. Look at this septarian. 
septarian -y stone. It's, it's pink. That's really pretty. Look at the colour of that. <gasps> wow. That is amazing. Oh, I love that. It's almost the colour of my coat. Can you see my coat? My coat looks more, more green in real life. <laughs> Wow. Oh, there's a pretty blue piece. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at this. It's like a little rainbow. A little agate orangey rainbow. just found two, not, not one, one but, two. but two, fossils. Look, look down here, look. Look at these. You can't miss it. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Wow. Wow. That would look amazing polished, wouldn't it? That would look incredible. Or yeah. sliced. That is coral. That's yeah. a coral. sliced coral. Where's number two? The other one is, I oh, can't see I it see there. It. I see oh, it the other one is what they call a tree fossil. Root. Tree root fossil. I can't remember the name of them though. No. We may put it on the screen. What it's called? It's, a, it's the root of some kind of tree. Yeah, I think it begins with a T, but I can't remember. Yes. Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah. Anyway. Two, two fossils. fossils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we think this might be a piece of fossilised wood. Do you think it is? Yeah, because it's just been smoothed into a pebble, look. That's so cool. It like, could be. I'm not sure. It could not, be. Not 100%. But could. that means that in this tiny little area, we found three fossils. That's, That's amazing. That's crazy. And that one especially is my favourite. I know. 100%. That looks like a, um, that one. Yeah. Looks like a domino or a oh, die. Oh, yeah. It does. <laughs> little holes on it. Yeah. The sun's finally going down, but we've got some brilliant last finds. So this little bit of agate was this way, and I flipped it over. Bam! Wow. Look at that. I love that. It's kind of like pinky. Pinky bands. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. How is this for a final find? It's tiny, but amazing. A little bit like me. Look! Wow, look at the colour of that. You know what? It matches the sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Most vibrant carnelian agate. Beautiful, what a great way to end the day. Mum's doing some skimming. The water looks skimmable. Oh. <laughs> that one's a bit too round. She it? did she did have a successful one. Need to find the perfect rock though. Find me. There's two bits of sea glass there. Look at that. Whoa. And this white bit here. Look at that. It's huge. Oh. Doing again, doing again. Ready? Yeah, go! We kind of got a double plop. No. That was a plop, plop. <laughs> plop. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh yeah, blame the rocks. <laughs> right, found some flat rocks. Let's have a go. That one's quite big. I don't know if that will work. That might not work. We'll I'll try, try it. it. Go. Oh, wow. <laughs> it makes beautiful patterns. That one did.
we've actually found something pretty cool here. We, well, mum found some 18th century bricks because everyone needs one of those. Yeah, look a couple at that. of hundred years old. That's look at those. Handmade brick. Yeah. It's so they stamped them. Yeah, they see they've got no stamp on them and they're really quite rough. So we're going to take those and we're going to use them for some projects back at home. So yeah, yeah that's struggle. Let's do some struggling back to the car over there. actually carried six bricks back and uh, almost broke our backs but they will be very useful so we've had an absolutely incredible evening on the beach and found some really unexpected I know. things we haven't only found sea glass, but we found carnelian and, and agate. fossils as well. And fossils, yeah. Yeah, and sea glass as yeah, well. You found that sea glass cod marble. Yeah, yeah. Did you already say sea glass? I already said sea glass. Never mind. But, yeah. <laughs> we found some great stuff today and some beautiful, like, polished stones, which is a bit different from yeah, it's a bit the agates from we the found. River. Yeah, yeah, because they, these have had more of a tumble in the sea, so they're... They're more or less already polished, yeah, as I showed you one of mine. It was already shiny, so it's fantastic, really. Some great jewellery pieces. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, on that note, we're going to say a goodbye and thank you. So, a great big thank you to everyone who has watched the video, who has subscribed to our channel, that's really important, mm. and left a comment down below in the description. And, of course, an extra special thank you to our... Patrons on Patreon who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. And we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.